Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Tuesday, December 1st. Happy December. I have a quick update for you. Some good news today, and there's a few important things I want to get into. The biggest thing is a bipartisan group of lawmakers have unveiled a new stimulus proposal. It's a $900 billion stimulus proposal. I'm going to talk about exactly what's in that proposal, what's not in it. Also, my realistic assessment of whether it can be passed in the next few weeks before the end of the year. But overall, it's good news for many reasons, but it's good to see renewed momentum, a renewed push before the end of the year to try to get something passed. So I'm going to go into that. And this is new breaking news. If there are any updates later today, we'll be putting them, as always, on our blog and right on the app. Second thing, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Fed Chair Jerome Powell testified before a Senate subcommittee today. They both pushed for more stimulus funding and talked about the funding so far and how it was going. I'm going to talk about those details, but it all points to similar signs that we've seen, but I'm going to give my honest assessment on what it looks like and whether I'm optimistic something will be passed A, in the next two weeks, B, in the next month, or C, beyond. As always, thank you so much for supporting our channel and subscribing. It means so much to us. Tomorrow we are doing another video to pick grant giveaway winners. As you know, for three, four months now, we've been donating all of our YouTube revenue to give out to subscribers of our channel and people who've downloaded our free app. Links right in the description for the app. And there's so much great content on there, things I can't cover here we put on the app as well. So thanks as always for your support. Without further ado, let's dive in. Here's the group today that announced the new bill. It's technically 908 billion. I'm gonna cut right to the details to give you the specifics. Who put forth this bill today? The bipartisan package was proposed by several senators. These include Republicans Susan Collins and Mitt Romney and Democrats Joe Manchin and Mark Warner. The total cost 908 billion. That is, of course, less than the 2.2 trillion that Pelosi and Schumer have been putting for, and Democrats passed earlier in the fall in the House. That's more than the 500 billion that Republicans and McConnell have supported and passed earlier in the year in the Senate. So, seems like a good compromise. You know, it's not that far off from the 1 trillion that was part of the Problem Solvers Caucus. That Problem Solvers Caucus was, I think, four months ago now. So $180 billion set aside for weekly $300 enhanced unemployment benefits. That's less than the $600 enhanced unemployment benefits that expired at the end of July, but it's still something. $82 billion for education, $45 billion for transportation, such as airlines. Airlines have already laid off tens of thousands of people, but they are still struggling. So this would help them and other important transportation service providers. 25 billion in housing assistance, 160 billion in state and local government funding. That is significantly less than the 500 billion that was previously proposed by Democrats. So 160, of course, is a lot, but it's much less than was previously put forth that Democrats were pushing for. Finally, probably most relevant to people watching this video, 288 billion for more PPP funding. So the PPP recap, as you know, there is still money left in the PPP pot, but most businesses who could apply for Paycheck Protection Program funding have already applied, and now you are in the forgiveness stage. Which, side note on forgiveness, many of you we hear are still waiting for forgiveness. It is a long process. It can be long, rather. So basically, your lender has to apply to the SBA. The SBA then has to review and say, yep, you can forgive this person's loan. And then the lender says, all right, we've forgiven your loan, minus some interest. But the SBA has, I think, around three or four months to make that decision. So if you applied for forgiveness late summer, you may be still waiting. But this extra funding would be for a second round but not for every business, for targeted businesses. That's an important distinction. Businesses that have been the hardest hit, such as restaurants, service sector businesses, who had the revenue tank in let's say March, April, May, and it is still frankly a fraction of what it was before in many cases. So that's what another PPP round would be targeted for, especially going into the new year. It would help businesses be able to continue to retain workers. Okay. 
Here's what's not in the proposal. Direct stimulus checks. Many of you are going to be disappointed about this. Many economists believe that $1,200 stimulus checks directly into bank accounts is the most effective way. You know, rather than pushing money through second parties, third parties, give it right to the people. Let them make decisions. There's pros and cons to all of this, right? You got to support the businesses. You got to support the governments as well and the service providers and the education providers. But I'd love to hear in the comments how you feel about this, both what's in the bill and of course the fact that stimulus checks are not in the bill. Leave a comment, I'd love to hear. And of course I'd love to hear whether you are optimistic about this as well. So this news, by the way, was covered today in the New York Times, in Fortune, in the Washington Post, in Politico, and in Bloomberg. My point is that everyone's been waiting, waiting, waiting for renewed momentum. <laughs> so there's hope. It's December 1st. Maybe this means that in the next couple of weeks, something will get passed. Now, I'm going to talk about the constraints that lawmakers are facing to pass before the end of the year. But first, here's the post right on the app. You can see all the details, including when we update it later today. And you can see a lot of our recent posts too. Actually, the US citizenship test changed today, which is pretty interesting. And we also covered the full list of countries that are now open to US tourists. If you're thinking about travel, it's worth a quick look. Again, you can see all the details and any changes to the proposal right on our Skip app. Link is in the description or it's Hello Skip on the App Store or on Google Play. The quick recap on Powell and Mnuchin's testimony today, okay? They both pushed for more funding. We know this, but Mnuchin said a few things that are worth pointing out. First of all, he urged Congress to pass something quickly to make sure we get something done in this session, as in before the end of the year. And he also said, we all believe that there should be a targeted fiscal response. Okay, we've heard him say those things many times. Jerome Powell also said we need more funding. One thing he said that I'll read is, quote, the outlook for the economy is extraordinarily uncertain given the ongoing surge in virus cases. He said the winter, Jerome Powell here, could be a tough few months and small firms might go out of business even though the economy might rebound strongly in the medium term as a vaccine becomes available. They're all echoing the same thing. We need to support businesses. We need to support individuals. But here are the constraints. There's approximately one week left before the House and the Senate go away for the holidays and the new year. That's not a good sign. That is very tight timeline to get something passed. And without a forcing function, I don't think there'll be the fast paced agreement that we need. I'd love to be proven wrong, but frankly, the stock market, it continues to climb. You know, for all of us who are worried about, say, paying rent this month or in January or February, or we're wondering if, hey, is our unemployment gonna be able to cover our basics, our housing costs, food costs, etc. So that's what most of us are worried about. You know, for months that hasn't seemed to be strong enough for lawmakers to want to act quickly and swiftly, to want to inject more money into the economy to prevent foreclosures, evictions, layoffs. You know, that's the main goal, prevent all those things from taking place, which will put the economy in a long-term difficult spot. So that's my take. I'd love to hear in your comments how you feel about this. And Pelosi and Mnuchin are talking this afternoon, actually right about now. This is the first time talking in over a month. As soon as I find out what they've talked about and how it went, we will update this post so you can visit it on the Skip blog and on the Skip app. As always, thank you so much for supporting our channel and subscribing. Stay tuned for a drawing tomorrow. Stay well, stay healthy, and take care.